All right, folks, this is going to show you how to fix the Cortex when you've broken off a pin inside of one of these ports. So if you look at the Cortex, it's a little tough to see, but you can actually see that there is a pin that's been broken off in port two of my motors. So right down in that hole right there, it's broken off. So I'm gonna show you how to get that out of there so you don't waste that motor port. If you flip it over, there are four screws. Uh, you take those four screws out, uh, just with a Phillips head screwdriver and then the top pops off and this is a good way if you're having issues with some of your other things uh, we've seen some issues uh, in our building where the USB ports are going bad so this allows you to desolder and then resolder a new port um, a new uh, female housing onto there and then also these Tamiya connectors are not the greatest uh, things either so uh, this allows you to pop one of those off. You could desolder and resolder uh, one of those if uh, you're, if these wear out. Again, I would encourage you to buy the one foot cable extensions so you can plug those in and leave them in the Cortex and then disconnect and connect your batteries with that. Uh, that will save this port on your Cortex. And if you damage the extension, it's, you know, a three or four dollar cable versus uh, having to to fix your cortex. Well, let's focus back on this. You can see that pin that's stuck down in uh, that M2 slot. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that out of there. Um, a straight pin will work fine. Um, I'm actually using a jumper wire from an Arduino kit. Um, it's what I had laying around. And an X-Acto knife actually works quite well uh, too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push this into the port, create some friction, and just kind of slide it out of there. So right now there's nothing really to grab onto. Um, it's down into that port. And again, I'll, I could push it down in there a little bit more so it's flush so you can see that nothing's sticking out currently. Um, so we're going to just insert this in. And again, create some friction and just kind of slide out. And that gets it out of there enough that you can actually physically grab it or take a pair of needle nose pliers and remove that pin. So that's how you can get your pin out. Um, if, if a student or yourself breaks, uh, breaks one of them off into your ports, and then just button it back up. So top goes back on. And then fasten in your, uh, your four Phillips head screws, and you're back in business. Have a great day.